we are straight back into the under-13 Ironman final. Our last ocean event here today at day one of the Youth Aussies. Fantastic racing on offer already. Have a look at the speed of these boys as they push down these waves. We have got three. That looks to be uh, North Bondi, Alexandra Headlands and North Burley. What a start here for the under 13. Remember, it is board swim. We will get these boys to the beach around the transition into the swim. Yeah, that's right. Those arms, while those arms are waving and those legs kicking, just a quick overview of the field. Competitors from Terrigal, Swansea, Burley Heads, Warilla, North Bondi, Bronte, Alex Headland, Maruchidor, North Kerr, Burley, more North Burley and Burley, of course. Cottesloe, North Burley again. Cronulla and Sunshine Beach. And at this point in time, Jen, well, I think I've said North Burley about four times. They've got four or five in it, and it is one of their competitors leading out the pace. Absolutely. And if we have a look back to the under-13 male surf race, it was Noah Lynch of North Burley who was into Taj Murray in fifth. So they've got some fantastic swimmers in there, one, two, and three heading out now. They would have seen the ladies go through just earlier. They know that this is where they need to make their move if they want to be on the podium. Yeah, that's exactly right. Putting everything they have left into the tank into that transition. They know it's the last time they're going to run around those flags and head back out for the day and what has been a huge day as well. So let's keep an eye on our front runners as they make their way across that bank because that is where the race was won last time. Imogen and our competitor from Alex who worked her mm -hmm. way to the front, they put the foot down, they attacked that run and it set up their swim for it. Yeah, Elle Richardson setting her up to take out the win. But yeah. keep your eye on Hayden McGregor. He's from Terrigal, which means it's a uh, full blue cap. You can see there him just on the left of screen right now. He took out the under-13 surf race earlier ahead of Noah Lynch of North Burley and Zach Moyer from BHNP. So that is one, two, and three to keep your eye on. But have a look again. The pack is starting to form up in this swim. Yeah, that's exactly right. And there's Hayden looming on the inside there. He's up into fifth place, so we'll keep an eye on him. But at the moment, Gee, it's still anyone's guess, Jan. These competitors today have just made such a good go of working across that bank, even if they are a little bit behind, staying calm, knowing that the race is certainly not over and being able to surge right back into contention. Absolutely. I love seeing that for the ladies, and we'll see it again here. We can see the caps in the mix at the moment. We've got Kujin, I mean, um, Warilla Barrick Point in the middle of the field as well. The boys are really starting to make a move right now, but it is so tough in any conditions. But for right now, Sam, when it is this choppy, when you're getting moved and pushed all over the ocean, you're trying to keep an eye on your competitors as well. It's really tough out there at the moment. Yeah, that's right. And I think some of our athletes have also found out just how much the water can move down here as well because they are zigzagging all it's over the so course. Bizarre. If you're at the back of the course, which I think one of our competitors has picked it up early, that is going to be a considerable difference to get back onto that red and yellow can because the field went a long way to the north. That's really interesting to see and I think it speaks to the fatigue that mm. our competitors are under right now. They just probably went straight out hoping for the best, got pushed a fair way down, didn't pick up on that change of direction that they needed to make until it was probably a little too late so it's going to be really interesting to see did anyone hold their nerve in the back of the yeah. field and say no 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 I'm I'm forging my own path but I tell you what North Burley really showing how it's done right now yeah that's exactly right so it is a comfortable gap at the moment but as we saw in every race including the last one the other 13 iron woman yeah anything can happen when you come back into that break so at the moment, he's certainly doing incredibly well. North Bondi in second, Alex Headlands in third. We've got Terrigal, Hayden McGregor there from Terrigal in fourth. As we said, he did win that surf race. So he is looming large at the moment. And Jack Wilkinson is from North Bondi there, and he's actually uh, personalised his profile photo in here. We in, love in to live see that heads. on live Thanks heads. so much, Jack. They Appreciate the, that. Hey, they are the one percenters that make a difference, and it's, it's on show for him now as well because they have turned the can for the final time today, making their way back to the beach for the chance to become the first ever under-13 Ironman champion of Australia. And I can see Alexandra Hedlund in the mix there. It's either Nicholas Carter or Archie Mayfield, two of our Alex competitors in the mix at the moment. Such a strong club in the juniors. We've seen so many of their oh, competitors yeah. in action today. And of course, Emma Woods giving us some uh, expert commentary while she's down on the beach as well. Hey, I'll tell you what, the more and more races we found <laughs> <laughs> belt, the more correct she was. Do not give 100%. up. Anything can happen. And that is what we are staring down right now as these competitors come back into the wave zone. Our leaders have not been able to catch anything yet. So again, that opens the door. And it looks as though there is a little bump building. Will it pick up any back markers on its way through? 
because it looks as though that our leaders are not quite getting anything ah. to work with. Wow, that is incredible yeah. body surfing from North Burley. He gets a lift, but here comes the bigger wave behind, and it is going to bring through competitors right on top. Absolutely. That was fantastic work for North Burley to pick that one up, and you can see he'll take a little dive right now, just trying to get the last power out of this wave. But I love that the gentlemen behind him, they are knowing. <laughs> They're so exhausted. They are so done. They need to get to their feet as soon as possible. You can run faster than you can swim, so let's get them up. That looks to be Burley Heads Mowbray Park on the right-hand side, but it is all North Burley for the win. It didn't look like much, Jen. It was just a little lift for our leader as he came into the wave zone, but that has proved to be the difference. And North Burley, with four competitors in the final, will also claim the first ever gold medal at the Aussies for the under-13 Ironman. What a performance. What a dominant swim that was. Oh, and look at the relief on his face as he finishes <laughs> right now. North Burley will be stoked for him. Terrible coming through there as well. What a finish there backing up from an amazing swim earlier. That's right. We're unsure of to what places. We think one might have snuck through for silver while we were looking at our winner there. So we will wait for official confirmation on just where that field finishes. But I know how they've finished, Jen, and that's incredibly <laughs> strong and incredibly tired after a race like that. And after a day like that as well, these under-13s may not have ever experienced a schedule as busy as that. But it's the one percenters that make a difference, and that is what our winner from North Burley was able to do. He's down with Harold on the bench. Taz Murray, the under-13 Ironman champion, mate. Four guys from North Burley in the final. How good does it feel, though, to be the national champion? Yeah, it feels good. Um, my race tactic was just to go hard on the board and just hold on in the swim. And you held it really well. The pack was coming in hard. A little bit of a runner coming in. You caught that broken wave just to get that extra 15, 20 metres out. What was going through your mind at that part of the race? Um, I was just looking behind to see if there was anyone behind. And then I was just looking for just concentrate. And you think having the extra height on the, on the other under-13s, but going through those big banks was a big advantage for you? Um, yeah, I could just let my legs start running a little bit more instead of porpoising. Now tell us about the, the squad at North Burley. What does it mean to you? Yeah, it's a really good squad. They push us every time. And I like the coaches there. Anyone else you need to thank? Um, yeah, my mum and dad, because they take me to the training session. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Taz Murray, the first ever under-13 Ironman champion of Australia. Congratulations, brother. Take that trophy home to the club.